Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo said he is yet to talk to President Rodrigo Duterte about the incident at the Recto Bank in the West Philippine Sea, resulting in the sinking of a Filipino fishing boat. But Panelo thinks this would outrage the president. He is outraged by that. Whether it's a form of bullying or not, it's outrageous, it's barbaric, it's uncivilized. So when and we're are... condemning it. According to reports, the Chinese vessel bumped into the anchored FB Gimver with 22 Filipino fishermen on board. The Chinese, again according to reports, abandoned the Filipinos in distress. The Department of Foreign Affairs says it has already filed a diplomatic protest to China. Malacanang is also seeking the explanation of Chinese ambassador to the Philippines, Xiao Zhanhua, about the incident, urging Beijing to probe and hold accountable those involved. The incident happened on June 9, Filipino-Chinese Friendship Day. Panelo admits that this could affect the friendly relationship of the two countries. With this intention, it's an act of aggression. We will cut off diplomatic relations. Yan ang unang ginagawa ng mga, pag mayroong mga aggressive acts. First, magdi-diplomatic protest ka. Kung hindi ka contento sa paliwanag nila, at nakita natin na talagang sinadya, ibang, ibang usapan niya. Meanwhile, some senators question China's actions. Senator Rizzo Antivero called on the president to recall the ambassador and all our consuls in China, just like when he recalled all Filipino diplomats in Canada over the garbage issue. But Panelo didn't seem to like the tone of the lady senator. Lot na options kino consider yeah. We don't need the advice of the good senator on that. Former Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario said the government must now consider a multilateral approach in resolving the issue, a suggestion the palace again didn't seem to like. He doesn't have to tell us what to do. We know what to do. Uh. For now, the palace said it is waiting for the Chinese government's response to the diplomatic protest before making another move. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.